Welcome to SAIT. The future is now. Welcome. My name is Heather Magatu, and I am the Vice President of External Relations for SAFE. I am thrilled to be the MC for this transform transformational announcement here today. It's my honour to acknowledge that we are here on the traditional territories of the Blackfoot people and the people of the Treaty 7 region in southern Alberta, which includes the Siksika, the Pikani, the Gainai, the Sutina, and the Stony Nakoda First Nations, including the Chiniki, Bear Paw, and Wesley First Nations. City of Calgary is also home to the Métis Nation of Alberta, Region 3. As you saw in those opening visuals, we're here to share details about SAIT's new School for Advanced Digital Technology, including its amazing new home right here in downtown Calgary in this historic Oddfellows building. That was Melissa Carnavale on the video, a recent graduate from SAIT, opening the doors with a line that I just love, the future is now. The concept of the school began with a gift of $30 million to state from Mr. David Bissett. He has a compelling vision, and today that vision is taking one giant step forward. I'd like to turn your attention now to the screen. When I was uh, reaching my 80th year, it occurred to me that I was going to have to think of how I was going to deal with my assets and my passing. I decided that I wanted to do something seminal in, in Alberta. I wanted to, to create something that was new, different, and focused on the future prosperity of uh, this part of the world. I'm well aware that technology is where it's at in terms of creating new jobs and creating new wealth in our society. And we don't have an institution that's a really focused on this. Uh, when you think about someone going to law school or medical school, they have a place to go. What I want to create here is a place for somebody who is, really wants to be in the technology world, has the kind of skills, and is really ambitious that they're immediately going to say, I want to go there. People would ask, uh, why say, uh, why not one of the universities here in town? Well, the Southern Alberta Institute of Technology has been in the technology business since day one. It was a place where people learned to repair the motors on horses' carriages back in the 1920s, and it's been in the forefront of technological advance in a whole series of uh, different skills uh, since that time. It's a college, not a university. Uh, it's more flexible. It's a, a kind of institution that can respond to the change in needs. Uh, in an instant. But I think we've got an opportunity within an institution like this to kind of coordinate and focus uh, where we should be going in the technology world. It is coming together. Uh, we've got a, our own discrete space now and I think it's going to be uh, just a very exciting uh, opportunity to see the doors open shortly. Thank you, Mr. Bissett. We know you're watching us from home today, and um, we really want to thank you for everything that you do for our community. So by the, between the time of the announcement of the gift in December of 2019 and now, the world certainly has changed. The COVID-19 global pandemic disrupted everything in our lives, our way of working, learning, and interacting with one another. It's also accelerated the need for technological adoption, not only to manage the crisis, 
but as a way of emerging from the crisis with new thinking and new ways of operating. Today, SAIT's President and CEO, Dr. David Ross, along with Mark Blackwell, Board Chair of the Opportunity Calgary Investment Fund, and His Worship, Mayor Nahed Nenshi, will be sharing exciting news that will spark change in our economy, change that will support employment and career development, investment and diversity, and digital innovation to rebuild and reimagine the future. Before I turn the podium over to Dr. Ross, for the safety of everyone in attendance today, I want to thank our media attendees for maintaining social distancing by adhering to the marked spacing in the venue. We are living stream to, on SAIT.ca to limit the in-person attendance in this room to fewer than 50 individuals. Our speakers are wearing individual microphones and the podiums will be sanitized between each speaker. And furthermore, if you're watching on screen, you may not know this, but everyone in attendance here today is wearing a mask. So thank you, everyone, for your commitment to ensuring our community's collective health and safety during this program. I'm now pleased to introduce Dr. David Ross, President and CEO of SAIT. Well, well thank you, Heather. Uh, your Worship, uh, honoured guests, ladies and gentlemen, welcome. And welcome to what is a very important day, I believe, not only for SAIT, but for the city, the city of Calgary. I, I, ha I have to pause for a, a moment, though, and recognize, is it ever nice to come to a meeting? And this is the point where you're all supposed to bring up on Zoom so I can see you clearly. And is it ever nice not to have to do that? It, 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 it is really un the unfortunate side effect of the pandemic and that we don't get to spend more time in close quarter with each other. But here we are. Here we are in an amazing facility, and I think one, to be fair, that represents not only the deep history of the region of Calgary, but I think the innovation that Calgary has to offer. And I, and I, and I do want to thank Synovus for helping us with that. So as, as the 16th president and CEO uh, of SAIT, it truly is my great pleasure to, to continue what I believe is the institution's long history of adaptation, of adjusting, of innovating uh, to meet the needs of our, our partners and community. As Heather said, Heather mentioned about what happened uh, 100 years ago. We started out with uh, fixing motorcycles and cars circa 1916, uh, doing metal work. But that was the technology of the, of the day. You can imagine learning to fix cars in 1916 was absolutely cutting edge. But here we are. So in February of 2019, SAIT began the process of drafting what was our new institutional strategic plan. And at the time, public policy changes were expected. And organizations worldwide we're facing what was a digital revolution and continues to be. It was well in motion, and, and, and in fairness, it was picking up steam. Now, we knew our strategic plan had to attract investment. It had to in, embed digital literacy. You heard David talk about that. A across all programming. And as, and it, to be as common, really, as, as reading and as writing. And it had to prepare students. It had to pr prepare students with a leadership, entrepreneurial, and lifelong learning mindset. We felt in order to be successful in what was the emerging world of work. So speed up to 2020. What a year, eh? What a year it's been. With the onset of COVID-19 in Canada, the health and safety of our community became paramount. Uh, by March, SAIT closed its campuses uh, employees began working from home, classes moved online. We, we all know the story. Uh, a testament to, to good thinking and consultation. We, at the time, we reevaluated that strategic plan against the current circumstances. And, and in fairness, I believe what we're announcing today remains very right for our ever evolving world. It's focus on the importance of skills for the future, for digital skills the value of lifelong learning and connection to industry, along with our ambition to ensure that SAIT students in our region remain globally competitive. With all that, I believe that makes our strategic plan right for the future that's head ahead of us. So with that, I am pleased to share today for the first time SAIT's 2025 strategic plan appropriately named New World, New Thinking. So a fitting name for today's announcement and today's realities. 
Uh, the plan in its entirety is now live on sake.ca. And I want to thank the hundreds, the hundreds of students, employees, alumni, our industry and community partners who all contributed to that plan. I encourage everyone, not only in the room, but watching online, to go look at the details. And in the coming weeks, we'll be holding engagement sessions with our employees and inviting stakeholders and so on to discuss how to effectively action the strategy. But with that, our School for Advanced Digital Technology is without a doubt a flagship initiative. A flagship initiative in our new world. New thinking plan. Today we're proud to officially open the school in the Odd Fellows building. Now, as I mentioned earlier, SAIT was founded in 1916 and it's symbolic uh, to us that a heritage building like this as I said, it really is the cornerstone of, of the new school and, and what will become a, an advanced model of learning. Um, and now in this space, and more importantly beyond its four walls, the School of Advanced Digital Technology will embed digital and training, uh, technology training rather, into existing curriculum across all state schools, all programs, all courses, including all of our continuing education and professional studies and corporate training programs. We'll also fast track learning, uh, newly created programs rather, that are in demand and what we believe are responsive to what industry is asking us for, as well as local and global needs. Uh, programming will be adaptable across all types of learners and through various delivery models, providing upskilling and ongoing training as interests and demands evolve. And I think I'm gonna pause there for a second. A critical point, this needs to be nimble and this needs to be able to adapt. Critical, we believe, to the success. So our goal is to ensure students, whether they're career starters, career changers, that they have the digital literacy, the digital literacy and personal agility and entrepreneurial spirit to succeed and what we know is a future powered by technology. The outcome is a tech savvy talent pipeline where state graduates are the ones to hire and Calgary is a city that can meet the talent needs of any business. We have outstanding leaders and partners working with us to advance what is an ambitious plan. Jim Gibson is with us here today, our new leader for the school. Uh, Jim uh, is with us this morning and begins his role as the chief catalyst next week. It's a big job, and I think the title says it all, chief catalyst. Uh, if you're inspired by digital disruption, you know at the core, at the core of Calgary's growing tech ecosystem is Jim Gibson, a connector and a catalyst. Jim is an active member in a number of tech startups, including Rainforest Alberta, uh, which he co-founded in 2016 to advance innovation in the province, and most recently, uh, Thin Air Labs, which funds early stage entrepreneur-led technology ventures and networks. Now, when we set out to, to find the right person for the unique role, we asked our partners, we asked our contacts, and I can tell you, Jim's name came up repeatedly. As we learned more about him through the process, it was clear his passion about our vision and the new school's mandate. We're excited he's joining us and leading the school. Jim is happy to take questions, by the way, from the media uh, after the program. Now, on the partnership side, things are strong out of the gate, I have to say. We've teamed up with Blockchain Guru, a local Calgary company to deliver blockchain certification courses, and say it's new digital solutioning course. Now we've gone a little farther east as well in Canada to partner with Ryerson University's Diversity Institute and Tech Nation to offer the ADAPT program. Now ADAPT stands for Advanced Digital and Professional Training. Founded by the Diversity Institute at uh, Ryerson's Ted Rogers School of Management and funded by the Government of Canada through the Future Skills Centre. It is it is a free skills development and work placement program aimed at bridging the employment gap for recent grads. 
Calgary's ADAPT program will be open to recent graduates from any post-secondary institution, from any discipline, through a series of online and live virtual workshops. Curriculum will focus on digital skills, including data analytics, search, in, search engine optimization, and UX fundamentals, and professional competencies from things like communication and presentation skills uh, to business writing and, and personal, personal development. This combination of digital and professional studies trainings will equip these grads with the skills in most recent demand by employers. Information on the ADAPT program, uh, information sessions rather on the ADAPT program are happening as we speak and uh, registration is open uh, at sate.ca. As well, we are launching uh, what we have coined the DX Talent Hub. In the process of envisioning and planning for the School for Advanced Digital Technology, SAIT was fortunate to combine forces with consultants at Accenture and also engage with an industry advisory council uh, comprised of local, national, and international as well, industry leaders. Through this consultation and research, we, optimized, we conceptualized rather the Digital Transformation DX Talent Hub. The DX Talent Hub will offer highly integrated training programs in digital transformation for individuals and corporate workforces. The hub will also engage hundreds, hundreds of K-12 students annually and is expected to graduate more than 1,500 individuals from its digital adoption training programs in the first five years. It will operate from this building to build upon SAIT's relationship with industry and its important connection, and I stress that, to Calgary's downtown core. Uh, Mark, you'll be making some announcements further on this and speaking to this initiative in more detail. In June, I released a letter to Albertans. Uh, in that letter, I reinforced SAIT's commitment to our students, both current and future, to our partners, and to all of Albertans. In that letter, I promised that SAIT would be part of the solution to today's economic challenges and an active participant in leading positive change in a response to the pandemic. So, starting with a smart vision and generous gift from David Bissett, and good morning, David, I know you're watching online. Consultation with Accenture and Calgary Economic Development along with longtime partner Synovus, who facilitated this space for the school. And thanks, Synovus. We have a plan and we are ready to get to work. I want to take the opportunity, of course, to thank all our partners, the Government of Alberta, the City of Calgary, the Opportunity Calgary Investment Fund, Blockchain Guru, and the Diversity Institute. Our School for Advanced Digital Technology, along with our new strategic plan, I believe, demonstrate SAIT's new thinking for the new world we're facing. And with that, on behalf of the SAIT's Board of Governors and our over 2,000 employees, we are very proud to make this investment in our city and our future. Thank you all very much. Thank you, Dr. Ross. New world, new thinking. What a great name for our strategic plan. Our goal at SAID has always been to showcase applied education as a preferred model of education. And throughout COVID-19 crisis, we've seen, I think all of us, how essential skill, applied skills really are. Everything from frontline medical technicians and master trades people who are literally keeping the lights on for us, to applied researchers and innovators who are adapting and adopting technology to solve problems. These are the skills in demand for our new world. Now it is my great pleasure to introduce to you Mark Blackwell. Board Chair of the Opportunity Calgary Investment Fund. Thank you very much. Uh, it gives me great pleasure to be here this morning on behalf of the board of the Calgary Opportunity Investment Fund to announce this important $8.2 million investment in Calgary's tech and innovation ecosystem. Our mandate at OSIF is to work closely with industry, academia, and citizens of this great city. We support and catalyze events, uh, initiatives, opportunities to provide a foundation, to provide scaffolding required to address 
some of the key challenges as we move Calgary into the new economy. This strategy envisions Calgary as a home of industrial transformation in Canada. The DX Hub is a bold initiative designed to address major skill gaps in Calgary as part of State School for Advanced Digital Technology. So what is the importance of today's investment? We have to remember, as reiterated today, that SAIT has always been at the cutting edge of technology. I know this personally. In 1987, my mother graduated with a diploma in secretarial arts at SAIT, looking to be part of the oil and gas, the boom in oil and gas sector. She was taught the critical skills of cutting edge technology of the time. The IBM Selectric typewriter, uh, she told me this weekend she had to type at least 80 words a minute to pass. And she also learned the basics of coding, coding Fortran, many in this room might know, a general purpose compiled imperative programming language. Fast forward to today and this ever-changing digital economy that we live in. Now we must be prepared to teach and arm the next generation of technology entrepreneurs, small and medium business owners, and employees with the essential skills and tools required to thrive in today's environment and tomorrow's. The difference between now and when my mother graduated is that the pace of change is absolutely unprecedented. Therefore, we need an institution like SAIT that can respond to the changing needs to serve this community and its companies. When the OSIF board reviewed the DX Hub application, it overwhelmingly met the necessary criteria. Firstly, it addressed the critical needs identified by industry. In our consultation with industry titans like CN Rail, fast-growing startups in this city like Helsum and Cement, we've consistently observed through OSIF and CED the demand for increased programming that can be nimble, agile, and provide flexible training programs that meet the requirements of industry. I can speak from firsthand experience. Having grown and scaled a local tech startup in 2015, just how important it can be to have a healthy pipeline of well-diversified, well-trained talent that has the right mix of skills to adapt to real-world challenges. SAIT more than fulfills this demand. Secondly, it's an integrated approach to program delivery. SAIT, with over 100 years of delivering programs with a consistent track record of placing students in careers following graduations, has the ability to deliver. This initiative incorporates technical and behavioral training best practices, the first of its kind in Canada. It has quickly built internal capacity to ensure that the first set of programming is both experiential in nature and provides students with the required skills to seek job placement post-graduation. Lastly, this program affects all Calgarians. Within five years, as David mentioned, the DX Hub is expected to graduate more than 1,500 individuals from its digital adoption training program. That includes graduating at least three dozen corporate workforce cohorts. And a, a very key part of this as well is the youth of the city. Looking at exploring and building programs to help with technology and engaging hundreds of K-12 students each year. SAIT has shown it can adapt to the change in real time. It was evident in my mother's day and it's true today. It is especially important when you consider that the languages, the processes, the frameworks, that students will be using a few years from now won't have actually even been existed today. We need an organization that's agile and SAIT is up for that challenge. I commend David Bissett for his transformational gift to the school and Dr. Ross and his entire team at SAIT for their bold vision to embark on an initiative that will have a lasting impact on thousands of Calgarians that will pass through the DX Hub. This is the local talent pipeline that Calgary companies have been demanding, and we are excited to be here today to play a small part in supporting this initiative through OSIF. Sincere congratulations as well to my good friend, Jim. Jim has been a leader in the innovation community for multiple decades, and not long ago, him and I were hosting a number of sessions two floors below. So this is a, a familiar uh, building to many in the ecosystem. And as Dr. Ross mentioned, it has a legacy of bringing together the community in Calgary as the old Chamber of Commerce. Lastly, I want to take the opportunity to thank the CED and the OSIF team and Board of Directors for joining us this morning. Today's announcement is yet another building block 
as we see a critical piece to catapult this city and to ensure that we have the scaffolding and the infrastructure to support and retain our best and brightest minds in Calgary. Thank you very much. Thank you, Mr. Blackwell. This is a tremendous investment and it will make a significant difference in our city. I want to thank you, the entire board for OSEF, um, Mary Moran and her team at Calgary Economic Development. Uh, where it, it was really the start of the, the um, Calgary and the New Economy Strategic Plan that kind of got all of us motivated and, and aligned around a real vision for Calgary. And so thank you for the leadership that you've shown in this community as well. I'd now like to turn your attention to the video screen for a message from Alberta's Minister of Advanced Education, the Honourable Dimitrios Nikolaitis. Hi, it's Dimitrios Nikolaitis here, and it's my uh, honour and privilege to uh, be producing this video today, and uh, to uh, all those members of the Board of uh, Governors of SAIT, uh, Senior Administration, students, uh, staff, and faculty, it's my privilege to congratulate all of you on the launch of the School of Advanced Digital Technology. As our province moves forward with Alberta's recovery, we know that technology and innovation will play a critical role in the recovery of our province. With respect to innovation, uh, we are developing specific strategies to help strengthen the innovation capacity of our province. And our post-secondary institutions, including SAIT, will have a critical role to play in helping to support the sector strategies and as well to help build and educate the workforce of tomorrow. This new school will help give our students cutting edge skills and competencies that they will need in a new modern economy. Once again, it's my privilege and honor to produce this video and to congratulate all of you on the launch of the new school. Congratulations once again. And now it is my honor to introduce His Worship, Mayor of Calgary, Nahid Nenshi. Mr. Mayor. Well, thanks so much and thanks everybody uh, for being here today for what, as David Ross told us, is a historic day for SAIT and a historic day for the city of Calgary. I'm thrilled to be joined here uh, by my colleagues from the Opportunity Calgary Investment Fund. Mark, thank you for taking on the chair of the fund, by Mary Moran, the CEO of Calgary Economic Development, and everyone's wearing masks, but I think there are other members uh, of our board here. I see Elizabeth Cannon there. So thank you all so much for the work you've done in helping us come to this announcement today, which is a critical announcement for one of our most important institutions, SAIT, but also a very important announcement for Calgary uh, and for downtown Calgary in particular. You know, usually when we make these announcements of the investments from the Opportunity Calgary Investment Fund, I'm standing with a business owner who has a great business that we're investing in and helping grow. But this is different. This is an investment, as you've heard, if I can use that buzzword, in our ecosystem. It's an investment in the important pillar of our economic development strategy. What's it called again, Mary? <laughs> Calgary in the New Economy. And Calgary in the New Economy is based on the four things that really are working together to make Calgary a place for investment and for growth. And those are the business environment, the place, the quality of life, innovation, and talent. And what's important about this particular investment is it really does help us hit all four of those with an emphasis on the talent pillar. What we have in the city right now is a situation where many, many businesses that want to grow here, that want to stay here and grow, or businesses that want to invest here, move here or come here, are finding it's a great business environment, all those macroeconomic things, low taxes and so on, that there's a lot of innovation happening uh, and that the quality of life is unparalleled anywhere. But the question we often get is a question about talents, which may sound like a funny thing when you're dealing with a situation where we have high unemployment of incredibly skilled people. Why in the world then 
are people asking us, do you have the right people for me? Do you have the talent I need in order to grow our business? The good news is that we are the most highly educated city in Canada, probably one of the most highly educated in the Western world. And our ability to shift, to help people do a little bit of retraining, to help them learn a few new skills. I'm thinking about your mom. She learned the typewriter, but also Fortran. This is precisely what we need to be able to invest in so that there's a better match between the opportunities that are there and the people that we've got. And the State DX Hub is really going to help us achieve these goals. And that's really what's critical here. It's about filling in a gap that we have in terms of our talent pipeline. I'm also excited, frankly, because this fills up a building that's been sitting empty in downtown Calgary. It brings students and a certain vibrancy to the city. It helps support the businesses nearby. So for the city of Calgary, this is also a very important investment for us to make. And none of this would be possible without the hard work of many, many people as we go through this transformation. Of course, and I hope you're watching, the most important of which are David and Leslie Bissett and the Bissett family. Now, I have to always remind myself that I am a tenured professor in something called the Bissett School of Business in another post-secondary institution. But that just sort of tells us the incredible importance that the Bissett family, that David Bissett in particular, have placed on education in the city and on building the city. You know, David and his wife moved here in 1977, and oh my gosh, are we ever lucky that they chose Calgary. Uh, and that they made these incredible contributions to business and to our community as a whole. So Mr. Bissett, thank you for all that you've done, uh, not just giving me a job, but more importantly, uh, for the incredible investments that you have continued to make in this community. So ultimately, what we're talking about here is the City of Calgary through Calgary Economic Development, the Opportunity Calgary Investment Fund, investing in the real transformation of one of our keystone institutions. One of the great things about SAIT is that SAIT has never stood still. That SAIT has always been an organization that is focused on the world today and the future is now, on the world that is coming. And Dr. Ross, your leadership has been extraordinary and I know that under your leadership, SAIT will continue to evolve and SAIT will continue to take its rightful place as one of the core parts, one of the core pillars that makes our city great and that makes our city an innovation hub. And now you get to do it downtown. So congratulations and thank you all. Thank you, Mayor Nenshi. It's really an honor to have you with us here today. Before we conclude, we do have one final speaker. Everything at SAIT ultimately is about our students. And so I'm very pleased to welcome Jasmine Batty to the po podium to say a few words. Jasmine. Thank you, Heather. <clears throat> Hello, everyone. As introduced, my name is Jasmine Batty. I'm a recent graduate of SAIT, class of 2020, Graduating from the Business Administration program, majoring in Human Resource Management. But I'm also the Vice President Academic of the SAIT Student Association, SAITSA. And I'm honored to say a few words on behalf of SAITSA and SAIT students. As a Vice President Academic for the Students Association, my job is to advocate for students in regards to anything academic related. And I'm sure today's announcements will have a significant impact for the students. As a student myself, I chose SAIT because of the hands-on learning that is provided to us. And I'm sure many other students can agree with me on that. Now with this new school of advanced digital technology, SAIT is continuing to stay relevant by adapting, adjusting, and innovating to advance its students like myself and many others. This new school will prepare us for not only uh, for the future as working professionals, but also for the drastic changes that we have all had to endure because of the current global pandemic. On a personal note, during the completion of my degree, my classmates and I also went to see the development of digital and technological skills embedded into our program. And now to see a whole new school dedicated to the advancement of these skills 
not just in one program or for a few, but across all state schools and continuing education, it is absolutely outstanding to see this level of commitment to student success. I'm so excited to see where this new world, new thinking, will take state and its students and alumni globally. Our city is resilient, and although we have been hit with tough economic times and a global pandemic, just like Dr. Ross made a promise, I promise you state grads are up for the challenge. Congratulations, state. Thank you, Jasmine. It's so great to have you and Ryan Morstad, President of SAITSA, here with us today. Thank you so much for being here. I want to say a big thank you to David and Leslie Bissett, to the Opportunity Calgary Investment Fund, the City of Calgary, our partners at Synovus, Accenture, of course, Calgary Economic Development, Blockchain Guru, the Diversity Institute, and of course, my colleagues at SAIT. This has been a great day for SAIT students. In a moment, we will open the floor to media questions. For the viewers who have joined us on the live stream, thank you. Please visit sate.ca slash digital technology for more program details. We opened with this line, so I think it's fitting that we, uh, we close with it as well. The future is now. Thank you. Thank you for all that you do and for your commitment to our success as students and ultimately as graduates. The future starts now. And we can't wait for the opportunities ahead of us. Thank you.